Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Bleach Mobile 3D. Now, I am waiting currently for Lost Noches to start, because we currently do have that ongoing right now. It actually is, like, only 10 a.m., so I am recording this a little bit earlier in the day. What we are going to be doing today is I want to do a small showcase of Vase Lord Ichigo. It's got a little burp when you go into a little menu here to see him, but I do have him upgraded up to 1.4 million power and i am using uh arankar aizen and using uh our buddy old pal old amigo the name of arankar aizen as well so it's it's retsu and aizen in my actual team and it's quite nice actually i have him upgraded currently um up to level eight because they had an event that came around right after we did our pulls where you could get like 80 fragments of arankar aizen for free off of the time limited event so I could have gotten him very, very easily without spending any of the diamonds I did, and I'm very upset about it because I also could have gotten Byakuya for the bonds for Retsu. So hindsight is 2020, and it came the day after I did my pulls, so I fucked up. So I actually currently don't have many bonds whatsoever for uh, Retsu. So she is not very powered up, unfortunately, and it is going to be a while before I get anyone like Shinji. Um, I actually do have the OG Aizen, but he's already on this Aizen. Right, but I guess I could actually replace this Aizen with the SR Ichigo. And then try and give uh, you, instead of Baragon at least, try and give you the Aizen for a little bit more power. It's at least a better all bonds build, but yeah, I'm missing a lot of bonds for her, unfortunately. But I've been trying to work on things, I've been doing a lot of upgrades, and I've been trying to spend my stamina as I can. Um, I wanted to wait until the event came back around to actually get double drops, but you do your best whenever you need to try and get the most power possible. And I'm trying to get back up to 3 million because I did have that a bit ago, but I want to use this team of these three. So, yeah. Uh, for right now, I will see you guys in a minute and a half when we do do Lost Noches and check things out. So, see you in one second. So, I also just wanted to make this video today because the actual anniversary for Bleach Brave Souls was announced. And while I don't have much to record over there, I am trying to grind up orbs right now. I'm super excited about Bleach in general right now. So I, I'm I'm looking forward to what they're putting out. Also, give me one second. I'm actually going to turn this down a wee bit on my end. Wow. Unfortunately, the volume just gets way too loud inside combat. I always forget about it until I like get in and I'm like, oh, ah. but Bleach Brave Souls, they had the first anniversary, which honestly, it has Vase Lord Ichigo. Um, which they call fully holified inside there as well, so canon names. Um, but they have him over there as well as Mugetsu for the first round, which I actually am interested in in general. Because, like, I like the forms a lot. And I'm probably going to go about 500 on them. But luckily, they ended up uh, teasing and actually, unfortunately, dropping the actual trailer early for the event for, um, for the round two, which actually does have Aizen. From Thousand Year Blood War, the Muken version. It has the Bonkai Omoto, and it actually has the Soifon, which I'm surprised they chose Soifon, honestly. It's a very interesting pick out of the ones they could have done. Also, yep, that's about right. My entire team died, so I was just kind of gang-banged by everybody. Um, but I'm surprised they chose Soifon of all things, but I'm super down for it. If they give her long stride, extra flash steps, uh, strong attack recharge, I I am sold. Uh, immediately. I love uh, Bankai Yamamoto. I loved him inside Spiritual Awakening back in the day when we played that, and also just like... I'm surprised they got Torbjorn's VA for him. Um, I guess just like staple old guy is what they wanted, but I don't know. I feel like you probably could have used the like voice modulators they have now to remake voices of people in the past, but that also feels weird to like reanimate the corpse of some... I don't know. The The passing of someone that is a voice actor is a really big deal, and I, I do understand the reluctancy to replace a voice actor in that case. It's it's weird. It's it's a very strange topic, and it's very difficult to try and get around, but I, I am happy we're getting a Bankai Yamamoto, because he is a very beloved character, and I, I think that the v, new VA does do some justice to him. I think he does a good job, so I'm happy with that. And also, fucking Aizen! Come on! Is anyone not excited for Aizen? Have you seen that ultimate? He has the fucking Thunder Dragon, and it's the coolest shit in the world. Um, so I'm just super excited about that. I'm hoping he ends up being a mine Zor Reaper killer. That would be the best case scenario for me, because I don't currently have one. And, well, actually, I guess Hikone is one, isn't he? Oh yeah, it does hurt a little bit. Damn it. I guess I would want, like, tech then, honestly. 
My issue is I just, I want good, like, strong attack recharge characters. I don't give a shit about Nad. Nad is boring to play. I, I find them to be easily the worst characters just because I don't have fun with them. So I'm hoping that as many of them as possible are going to end up being uh, strong attack recharge. Walking Emoto would be the best case scenario. I... We only got a Nad Zoifon off of the actual uh, swimsuit version, so I don't think they'd actually give her that for this, but I'd be curious to see if they do. Like, may maybe she has, like, a, a human killer, and she does her normal attacks, and it just fucking pounds away in big hits, because Shunko is just big, strong hits now, not just fast. But we'll see. This is a rerun of the team that destroyed us last time with the, the, the Retsu. Yeah, ow! Oh, oh boy. Oh man, sure do love this. Actually, we did a better job this time around. We actually caught the momentum better. Oh my goodness, we're actually doing a pretty good good job, team. Proud of you. I'm getting destroyed, unfortunately. I'm gonna back away a little bit, because I, I wanna try to be careful. I'm alone, so uh, cripplingly, painfully alone. So I'm trying to be a little bit carefuler than I have usually been. That's how that goes. But yeah, so I'm probably going to go a little bit on the first banner for, the, for like, round one. Um, I do love full Hollow Ichigo, and I do love Mugetsu, but the issue is... Anniversary characters come around in reruns more often than Thousand Year Blood War characters, especially because this is going to be round five of Thousand Year Blood War. So it's going to be on a rotation of all five of them now, all in a row. So it's gonna end up being, they're only gonna come back every so often or during big events, during baits. So I wanna get them when they're first relevant and when they're first out, because I'm gonna use them no matter what, no matter who they are, or like what they end up being or what their typings are or anything. So I'm, I'm down for it. So I think I'm gonna try to go for three for three on the second banner and hopefully do like 2K on that. So I'm hoping to get 250 before the anniversary, but that would be in about two days. So it depends on how much I grind on different things. The issue is Bounty Rush has a huge event going on um, as of, I think, tomorrow. And the Bleach Anniversary is going on as of two days from now. So there's a lot of things coinciding, unfortunately, and a lot of things to kind of stress about in all ways. Good job, team. Good job, little little Toshiro. You probably hit the enter next stage button to be faster, Yuta. Uh, that might be a better call, but I, I'm, I'm trusting you as the team leader. Let's do it. Honestly, we're being quite slow, so I don't think we're going to be able to get anywhere meaningful here, unfortunately. Whew. I've been able to actually fight a lot of like higher level people in general pretty effectively. It's been quite nice in inner selection, just kind of cruise through this... I remember I fought, I had the same level 117 Arankar Aizen inside PvP at one point in the inner selection. Um, like three times during my 10 attempts. And I actually ended up beating him every time because Base Lord Ichigo does a lot of damage. And once you catch one good combo, it's basically over for an enemy. Um, he's really overwhelming from what I've seen. And I'm glad I ended up getting him because he actually does make it a hell of a lot easier to grind things as well. Um, I'm finding myself being able to even just auto the limited time challenge events that are coming around. I actually got like, I think I was the top of the Baragon event that came around. May not be over just yet, but I can check that out in a second here afterwards. Might have gotten like the most points, but I was able to get to the last uh, stage and just grind with that one. Which I couldn't have done before I got Vestal Lord, so it's so much better. Um, I know that the actual version of Yamamoto, that's the dual fist with the fire, is a hell of a lot better. And actually, I, I, it is, it's an inevitability to get all these different characters that are available. Um, but I think I want a base to Lord the most right now, honestly. He's just so cool, and he's relevant as well, I think. I, I think that with BBS kicking off, I'm kind of excited to use him here and as well as over there if I end up getting lucky. Granted, it depends on the step-ups. Um, I don't even think I'm going to go all the steps through the step-ups, honestly. If step six is like a guaranteed five-star, I guess I might head all the way up there. That would be like a thousand though, so we'll see. All depends on how the steps end up going. Alrighty, what do we got next? We got two more stages till we're actually at the uh, boss fight with Gein. So we are getting quite close to Las Noches. We did start when it first started, so... We're pretty much on par with everyone else. Aside from whoever does more damage, like the people that kicked our ass before. But you know, that's how that goes. I honestly think if I had a team that was a little bit... Uh, 
not not to be rude, but if I had a team that's a little bit uh, stronger, we might be able to actually get to Gein and beat it. Just a matter of having three people that are kind of competent to do big DPS boys all throughout. So we'll get there eventually. I'm going to be stuck inside levels 112 to 120 for a while. So I have a feeling that I'll be able to get uh, Lost Noches' win at least once during this time. I have never actually gotten all the way to the boss fight and like been the one to beat him. I've gotten to the boss fight and almost beat him, and then unfortunately it was stolen by another team, but that's just how it goes. We actually are heading up to the boss now though. Oh. Well, I did my best. Damn it! Exactly the timing I was talking about it too. Uh, so that was the Battle of Nos Noches for today. We actually could do another attempt. Um, but it appears that the actual Aizen is dead already. So rest in peace that idea even. We could have done the Aizen um, to get these like gear chests for the gold gear. But honestly, right now, I kind of just want to actually finish off the red gear that I have. Because I have so many of these fragments. I want to try to at least get this set. Because... If I start working on gold already, I'm skipping an entire tier, and it's going to be a while before I get my power up anyway. It's it's weird. But Bargon does leave in about three hours, um, which I guess it will be over by the time that comes around. But Kakumel passed me? Oh, no. Whatever will I do? You know what? I actually genuinely want those Sajin pieces. I'm going to use all seven of my attempts I currently have to get that done. Thank you. I probably should have equipped Bargon first. I mean, refresh is on the hour, so I'm I'm on I'm in first place anyway with the 48k. But I just realized I don't have Baragon equipped to actually get the bonus points. So he totally could beat me if he has more tickets, because you have to actually put Baragon on your team to have him as part of the limited time challenge point boost. May have fucked that up a bit. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I mostly have this team set up for the Serate contest, so that's just entirely my bad. Right now, though, I kind of want to play one more thing. I'm trying to think. What is there available that we can end up doing with this character? Hmm. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of down to go and do, like... Let's go do Minos. I, I'm, I'm, I'm down for a little bit of chill Minos today. I definitely think that I just kind of want to sit around for a wee bit, and it's, it's, it's nice. Honestly, I need to try and get in the habit of doing Minos before Daily Reset actually happens. It happens at like 1, but I get too lazy to actually get things done. Oh, I'm in a team still? Oh, I am. Sorry, Yuta. I gotta head out. Minos Hunt. It's time for us to hop on in. Typically, I'm able to do quite well on this, so it should be a fun time to just have a good old chill. But let's get to it. ba da ba ba da ba In! Bro, stop maintaining an online persona through curated posts about vaguely es esoteric yet relatable themes in an attempt to balance what you think is authenticity versus calculated indifference. You're scaring the hose. Is one of the funniest things I have read on Twitter today. And and I am genuinely happy. That's what I came across while waiting for Minos Grande to end up happening. I retweeted it on Twitter. You guys will know when I recorded this video because you'll be able to go check that. But that is an excellent tweet. Honestly, I've been thinking about that a lot, and how, like, so, I, because I've, I've now entered this weird YouTube space in the last couple years, I've started to meet people that have these online personas and, like, go through their own things and do their own things, and obviously I'm not going to out anyone, I'm not going to, like, talk about these things, but when you talk to some YouTube people and hear about what's going on behind the scenes, it's so fucking wild! There's some weird ass shit going on behind the scenes in some of these situations. And the idea that you never hear about 90% of the things that someone does is so weird to me. And yet people can curate them and like only say the things that are super positive and super like clout building and just try and make that part of their actual existence. And basically their outward value and their like self-identity is entirely based on what they fabricate online. It's fucking fascinating to me. And I, I, I watch a lot of I watch a lot of people. I talk to a lot of people. Um 
I, I, I feel so weird asking for collabs, so I never actually try and, like, ask for video stuff with them. But we kind of chill and play video games sometimes. Last night, we kind of... So, last night, I may have been less than sober. Uh, may have just gotten a little, little bit, a little bit of that tipsy. Uh, and I played Fighter Z with a friend of mine, um, another YouTube folk that I've been talking to recently. And I, I can't talk about what he was telling me, but it's so nice to be able to chill and just fucking discuss some of the weird shit that goes on in the world. Honestly, when when you do YouTube, you can't be a normal person. And it's in, along the same routes as you couldn't be a CCG investigator and said Tokyo Ghoul unless you were fucking crazy because that's a vampire hunter job. You can't be a YouTuber unless you're a little bit off. Uh, and what I mean by that is you actively talk to yourself for like an hour plus a day. And that's just part of what you do. And that to be classified as that uh, roughly about 100 years ago would be pleading insanity to the people around you to say that you talk to yourself in in your own room and kind of mutter your own whisperings about the existence of reality in the world. Right? That 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 would be heresy basically. And you would be put for a psych eval by these random like just just doctors all around. But now that's a job. Now that's like one of the most sought after jobs out there on the market. Despite the fact that it is only for weirdos. And it's it's strange. It, it's it's a very unique shift in, in the world we live in. But I kind of love it. It's genuinely very fascinating to me. But YouTube's weird. There's a... Uh, like, I remember last year... There, I, I talked about this on previous recordings. I, I talked... So I was... Another time where I was less than sober, I was very, very, very high at the time. Like, I had had edibles because I was out with friends, and I was just, like, super out of it. I was invited into a call with a friend of mine, uh, uh, by, by a friend of mine, and they were like, Hey, you want to talk to this YouTuber? And I was like, Yeah, sure! That sounds cool! I look up to that guy! He makes the good contents! That was my high voice speaking, by the way. It's, it's like the, you know, Kaguya when she goes in a little, like, Quez form. It's that, basically. I become an Owo. Um, so, I'm, I'm just sitting there, so high, and barely even talking most of the time. I'm just kind of happy. Until the YouTube guy starts berating the friend that brought me in and, like, tells him to turn on his camera and, like, starts making fun of him and taking screenshots and, like, editing it into weird... Ah, just very strange things. And it makes me very uncomfortable. To the point where I was like, that guy that I looked up to as a creator and respected and genuinely thought was... I kind of looked up to him as like a, almost a, a YouTube hero because he was part of the... He was like what I wanted to be at the time. That fell apart. That that didn't work out too well. Um, and, you know, people always say never meet your heroes. I don't even know if I was hyping it up as like a hero circumstance. But it's the matter of I met him and I was like, oh, you're kind of gross, aren't you? Oh, man. And there's there's a there's a lot of people out there in in communities that are just kind of scummy as as time goes on. And it's unfortunate that that has to be the case because I don't know. There's a lot of kindness around as well. There's a lot of like really positive people, and there's a lot of people with like a genuine grind. I was in a stream yesterday and like watching some of someone else's stream that came back around in the bleach space and. Super chill guy, super cool, and like I respect the hustle they all have. It's a lot of genuine effort going in there, so it's it's cool. But for right now, this is going to be it for our showcase of Ace Lord Ichigo. I know I didn't talk about him a lot, but I played as him. He did a bunch of damage. Actually, he's one of the strongest characters because he is one of these five stars. Um, it is all based on. Let me see if I can. Blah. There's like five star, three star, three star, three star, all the way down, and you can upgrade characters up to higher stars later on, I believe. So he is like a net higher power than most other characters, and he's good for what I'm using him for. Um, but I'm going to try to work on my actual swimsuit red suit. I want to do a showcase of Aizen soon. He actually is at 383,000 pow power, which is way higher than Retsu is. But I want to try and do a showcase soon, um, talk about his kind of sleep and what he does. So that's the plan for right now. I will also see you guys for the Bleach Anniversary in a couple of days on BBS. But for right now, 
Thank you for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.